because Anna wasn't the only Team GB medal winner yesterday. Let's take another look now at Yasmin Harper and Scarlett Mugensen making history as they claim bronze in the three-metre synchronised springboard. Happen in diving. Here we are. 48.60. It's not enough for a medal for the Australians. Look at that. Look at the look on the faces of a shock. It's been hard. Scarlet Mugens. There they are. Olympic bronze medalists. And rings. What a wonderful start to the Olympics for them, for us, and of course. For their families, we're joined now from Paris by Yasmin's mum, Emily, dad, Sean, and sister, Iola, as well as Scarlett's mum, Charlotte, dad, Steve, brother, George, and friend, Kirsty. Welcome to you all. Very good to have you with us on the programme. Uh, firstly, uh, to Yasmin's family, uh, that must have been an epic thing to be there to see. How, how are you all feeling this morning? Well, it's the day after the night before, isn't it? So it's uh, still sinking in, to be honest. It's, uh, it was fantastic yesterday, but it, is, it, it was a little bit surreal. Um, and it did take some time to sink in. Emily, you must be bursting with pride. Yeah, I'm just really pleased for Yasmin. Um, she's worked so hard for this and for Scarlett too. Just so pleased for them both. Um, to speak to Scarlett's family as well. Um, I mean, the journey here has been such a challenging one, hasn't it? Uh, that must have all played into the emotion for you all. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, they've both worked really, really hard because they've had to accommodate that resting and time off from the boards as much as intense time on. Uh, and we... <laughs> it was. Um... <laughs> me and Charlotte and we, did, we didn't really realise at first what they were asking us. We were a bit dazed um, from them winning the medal and then they were just talking to us and then suddenly we said, oh, we're their mums. <laughs> that, must have, that must have been quite the, quite the, uh, the win for the, whoever was interviewing you. Yeah, we didn't say so much though. We were a bit sort of in shock, so it was quite a quiet interview. <laughs> um, Iola, as, um, you know, as Yasmin's sister, you must have been so thrilled to see that. What, what goes into getting that kind of winning performance? What do you see her do and, and you know, the commitment it takes? I mean, she's, she's so committed. She's always been a sports person. She's, you know, she's done hours and hours and years and years of work, first in gymnastics and then in diving. She's put so much into it. You know, she... She sacrifices so much to, you always knew she was going to do something because she's so determined. Um, but it's really nice to see all her hard work pay off because she's put so much in. Uh, and Kirsty, as uh, Scarlett's best friend, or one of Scarlett's uh, best friends, you, I mean, you must be planning a, a, a celebration of, of some scale for when she's back. What have you got in mind? I'm not sure. I think I'll leave that up to Scarlett. Whatever she wants. I mean, she deserves, she honestly deserves the world. So as, as a best mate, I'm just happy. I'm happy for her to have some time off and rest and whatever form that takes, I'll, I'll do it for her. You know, I'll accommodate her whatever she wants. Uh, and to Yasmin's family, it is, of course, Yasmin's 24th birthday today so the the celebrations you've got to plan are all piling up they're racking up what are you going to do are you going to wait till after the olympics is over how, how are you going to play that i think we're going to wait till after the olympics is over because she's going back to london today so um to carry on training for the three meter event so there won't be much time for celebration unfortunately Life of an Olympic athlete never stops, does it? Never stops. <laughs> never any rest. Never any rest. What? Um, and just briefly, what you know? What is, what's it been like being there in Paris to see all of this there for yourselves and and to see you know those achievements? I mean, um, uh, George, you know, as as uh, Scarlett's brother, you know, how does that feel? Um, I think it's really special because obviously Scarlett went to Tokyo, but we could only see it on a computer screen. So it's like such a big difference to be able to be here in person and soak in the atmosphere, especially with the crowds and all the people around. It was brilliant. OK. Um, thank you to you all, to Sean, to Emily, Iola, to Charlotte, Steve, Kirsty, and George. Thank you to you all for joining us and enjoy the rest of the games. Thank you. Thank you.